What's up guys, Poke here from the iOS server and today we are going to talk talk heart to heart about this game of Castle Clash and uh, I wanted to, before I do all this, I wanted to thank uh, all my supporters, all my followers, especially the ones that are um, checking up on me. I'm, I'm doing great and uh, you know, just been really, really busy taking care of personal stuff and, and work and stuff, but I'm just going to do my... Uh, I just logged in for the very first time today, and um, we're going to talk about the game, and uh, how, I mean, I'm not here to talk about how, uh, technical stuff, okay, I'm not here to talk about the game dynamics, uh, the game mechanic and stuff like that, I'm not, I'm not here, uh, as a matter of fact, I mean, I, a lot of, a lot of the details about the game the facts i don't know i've been playing for a while i didn't play since the beginning but i i played for at least two years as far as i can remember maybe more maybe two and a half or something like that and uh i want to tell you one thing first of course you want to you want to hear the cons right yes absolutely this game it's it can get very very demanding like uh let me let me give you an example let me do this this game can get really demanding and if you're not careful you're gonna be in that hole not knowing what you wanted to do with the game in the first place so when i think back i mean i when when i start when i start finding myself in a situation where i'm getting really i'm behind like oh my god i'm supposed to be a top player i have to be i have to keep up i'm supposed to have uh, one of the best defense in guild wars so i'm supposed to keep up with the heroes and this and that and then I'm forgetting the biggest picture of it all. What is it? It's uh, in the beginning when I downloaded this game, when I first played this game. Um, it was uh, how much was it? I think it was two thirty one. Uh, I the, the 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 game for me was supposed to make me happy. It was supposed to be like like today. I had time to log in and actually do a couple things whatever that uh that it may be just to keep keep me busy i have about 10 minutes i have so many things to do here what am i supposed to hire um with shards and uh i have so many things to do but i don't really have to do them all or as a matter of fact it's my choice i i even don't don't need to do anything at all i can log in tomorrow if i want to i mean if i choose to so i i got lucky i mean i got busy and and i found out that when you're in that when you're in that zone where the game is controlling you you should stop and take a step back because that that's that's where i am right now i mean it's like i am in full control and I'm I'm gonna do what makes me happy. And this game, um, what was I gonna talk about? So this game, in my opinion, is one of the most sophisticated game I have ever played. Is that a fact? I don't know, but that's how I feel. It's like whatever game I play. And I mean, I play quite a few games. I don't play them all. Like some some of my buddies who played just about every mobile games and trying this trying that i i played a few i sometimes i pick up a, a a very popular game and uh i uninstall it in 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 about a week because uh it was it was not for me i mean it doesn't mean that a game is popular it's it's for me but this this is one of those very sophisticated game that you know if you have five minutes you can do something if you have two hours you can do something Maybe you can't do anything for the entire day unless you unless you use gems and that. But it, it really caters to a lot of my needs to make me happy. Like in the beginning, I, 
I used to have uh, about 50,000 might for a very long time because I just want to like when I take a break I just want to raid a couple bases um get some gold upgrade the walls this and that and um and after that I log off and 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 get on with my day but uh you know after I joined a very a very good guild at that time then I started to get inspired by uh by a player I mean uh, he used to be uh he used to go by the name of Black Sheet, and uh, and he uh, actually inspired me. He said that go go ahead and you have you have the heroes to do to three flame insane dungeon four ten. Go ahead and do it, and then after that, it's your choice. So I went ahead and did it. I mean, it wasn't easy. So when I did that, exactly that. I mean, when I did, I saw the value of the game of how sophisticated this game is i mean you can pick a hero right i mean you can, you max it out you 10 to 10 you, you max the talent you have you have a skill you have a talent and then you have a you have a crest which is like a second second talent and then you have a third talent which is an artifact and then you have a fourth talent plus you have traits and wow I mean, and then you have this uh, this new thing right here. That uh, how do you even get there? I don't know. When you can add so much stats, like I, I did my golem, so I can actually level up if I want. But uh, how do I see the stats? Hello. Yes. See right there. It adds so many little stats here and there. This is very sophisticated. I mean, I play. Let's let's give you a, a very good example. Class Royale is the game that I'm currently playing too. It's a very fun game, but the only difference is, it's like if I have a phone call, that that uh, match is done. I mean, with Castle Clash, if you like raiding somebody, yes, you're done, but it's not gonna hurt your your trophy or your performance or whatever. You know, your hero's probably gonna be on a timeout because they they messed up and then uh you know you'll come back in a couple minutes and they're they're back to life but uh, uh what was i saying so let, let's just say class royale they have uh if you have your heroes you have your pekka what have you um and uh they have they do what they do but that's about it there is no there's no rolling talents there's no rolling enchantments there's no rolling this rolling that i mean they have their legendaries like the uh, one of my favorite is the princess and uh, you know uh, what else is uh, like like a princess you you the princess do certain things but then th there's no additions or uh, or any anything else you can take or you can remove so that's that you just have to keep collecting princess cards until she's maxed out um, that's not that's a difference uh, there, it's the game is a lot of fun as well but I think this is special. Castle Clash is special to me. I don't know if it's special to you or not, but it's special to me. I wanted to bring this up because a lot of people have spending problems. Be very careful. I mean, you have to spend responsibly. I mean, I know it's easier said than done and stuff, but you have to uh, take a step back. Like what I do is I go into like my guild right now i'm not i'm no longer how do i even go so here it is this is the difference so i am in a top 100 guild right now it's really i can chill i mean it it doesn't make me less of a gamer as a matter of fact, it's going to open a lot of opportunities for me to actually experiment with a ton of stuff. You know why? Let, let me go over that in, in a minute. I mean, before that, of course, I do want to give a huge shout out to all these, all these top 10 guild, especially top 20, top 30, top 50. These are these are serious this these are these are very very competitive people i had a i had an opportunity i had the privilege to actually spend a little bit of time with silent dark and um uh, and valinor so two top 10 guilds and 
oh my god i mean i mean yes they have they have they have fun don't get me wrong but it is when it comes down to uh competition it's it's all business i mean you know the game face is on the trash talking is on everything is on and man if you think for a second that you you know oh my god you might miss something no you just missed it because yeah in in, in like guild wars or in in fortress feud i mean the little things that you miss it's gonna show so much right so i'm just taking a little bit of break from this high-end competition because i really do i really sincerely wanted to explore this game in every little aspect like this i mean i don't want to say it's not me like uh Yes, I do like it. I mean, I have a ton of friends in KOA. I have a ton of friends in, you know, Seven Seas and um, Silent Dark and, and, you know, and so on and so forth. I mean, they are so much fun to to be around. And uh, but aside aside from that, though, what I do find is when you are in that top guild, you whatever whatever it is that you think is uh end game can change in a split second i'll give you an example when i'm uh, when i was uh when i was in in the at the scene of this top competition when i was in valinor and when i was in uh, silent dark is that first yeah oh my god there's uh you know you for we just won't give you one example it's like a ronin you're using a scorch maxed out dodge Ronin with like Doom Balloon or Phoenix, you can actually solo a base, right? Uh, but in a couple updates later, it's it's no longer possible because the competition is that tight, and uh, they they release a hero that you know that, that can counter it. But uh, aside from that, if you are in the top 100 guild, top 200, top 300 guilds. Um, you can still use Scorch Ronin, I'm sure. You can still snipe with like your old school heroes like a uh, Warlock and Pixie. And do you know why I brought that up? Because I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't spend all resources on a lot of these heroes so that they just can hang out in the altar doing nothing. Really, I want to start using them. Like I made some heroes. Like I wanted to test some of these heroes. Like I can't really test out this guy right here that i made uh, a month ago or so because uh, there's <laughs> there's so much deflect going on in the top competition and like oh my god no i can't really use him but anyways long story short i mean this game is very sophisticated and in my opinion this is how i feel this game should easily be the top 10 mobile games you watch i mean if you believe the way I believe it, this game in about a year, like early 2019, is going to be top 10. I mean, I can argue with you all day about this, about how I feel and stuff, but uh, we'll just we'll just see. But what what does this game need? What's the next evolution that this game is going to need? It's, it's not, oh, IGG needs to do this. IGG needs to reduce the price of the gems or needs to need to uh, 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 be easier to roll new heroes no 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 you gotta cut it cut it it's all on us it's all on us if we come in here and say like oh you know what this game is so bad um, it makes people spend so much money and stuff let me do my last round real quick it makes people spend so much money and there's no return and what have you and of course the community is not gonna grow because you're spreading all negativity about it but if you say, you know, I mean, look look at how many free-to-play, how many people are enjoying the game at the top 100, top 200, top 300 guilds. And you're here to say that, really, I need the latest and greatest to compete in top 100, top 200? No, there's only, there's only 750 people in the top guild, okay, in the top 10. You're saying that they have to cater to, to, the, to, to those 750 people and forget about the the rest of the thousands i do not agree with you because i mean if you look at the deals and stuff these days what bizarre they're offering they are targeted towards the casual casual pay to play 
and uh, they're targeted to them, the, the 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 people that spend once in a while and stuff. But uh, oh, you know what? Um, I want to be uh, 350,000 might, and I want to be smashing everybody else. I want to be the best of the best. Yes, there is people like that, but you better back it up. You can't say like, you know what? I want to spend uh, ten dollars, but I want to be a top player. How's that reasonable, man? Like, like. <laughs> you know that you're listening to yourself but instead you know we got to have fun as a community we got to grow it it's 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 on us they, they igg is not making me spend like if i don't want to spend i don't need to spend like i have you know this 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 account is is up there in um, in competitiveness but i don't really need to spend to keep up like hey man as long as i can have fun I'm okay like as long as I can uh, as long as I can have fun with and, and I can you know I can start helping people I can <laughs> the, the more people I can help and if I can have them have fun then we're in a growing community so it is it is up to you it's your choice do you want this community to grow or do you want this community to shrink and you'll become the only group and yeah i mean you're probably gonna be the number one guild or you're probably gonna be the number one player among 20 people right so that's i mean i'm just gonna leave it at that i don't want to make this video too long uh this is the poke and uh, i'll be making a lot of videos like this to help to grow the community i i don't encourage negativity i do encourage a lot of positivity if there is any uh, uh feedback there's a constructive criticism yes i welcome all those but if you're gonna bring in negativity you're like oh this game is dying or what have you uh no just uh maybe discuss it with your you know with, with other people uh, i don't want to hear it so that's that and uh, that's how i feel and i hope you feel the same way and that's i think that's how we can grow the community let's help each other spend responsibly or not spend anything at all and uh, if you want any more um, in depth of this this discussion, let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, for now, Poke out.